hello everybody and welcome in today's video we're going to be looking at one of the most consumed products in zimbabwe it's an actually an alternative to meat and a lot of you i'm sure as you grow up you have been consuming that product and um with me today is my guest from uh, Winpart agrochem yeah yeah can you please introduce do you know the product that i need to talk about is an alternative to meat actually oh. it's commonly ate in january Okay, cabbages. Cabbages, yeah, you got that right. So we're going to be talking about um, about cabbages, and uh, with me today, your name is Jesse, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Jesse is going to be uh, 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 looking into that. So I've moved around actually, and when I've moved around, I've uh, tried to find out the price for cabbages. So uh, as you know, that in Zimbabwe, a lot of us we buy cabbages from Bari, yes, and some for some people, Bari is kind of distant place and uh, people buy from Musika and all those kind of places. So when I moved around, cabbages are selling for one dollar each, right? Yes. Yeah. And then uh, when I moved around to ask the price for cabbages, people were saying they buy at wholesale for 70 cents, uh, 60 cents. I thought they actually buy for 50 cents, dollar for two, but there's nothing like that. Yeah. So I want to calculate uh, basically the price, the, the, the fact that I'm here for is the profit that one can make uh, from cabbages. So, welcome, Jesse. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, actually... Yeah, so now let, let, let us look at the process of, um, of cabbages from, from, from to a farmer from start to finish. Yeah, probably if you can just take me bit by bit, bit by bit. I'm a starting farmer, so do it slowly. <laughs> okay, uh. so uh, there's nothing, nothing much on uh, cabbage production. Mm -hmm. Actually, everything starts with a good seed so actually you have to choose the rightful seed uh, we've got different varieties of uh, seeds uh, we have got majesty we have mm -hmm. got the star 33 series we have got uh, fabiola and there are so many but now uh, you have to choose a short season variety that brings money very quickly and uh, the cabbage that green brings a very good quality of a cabbage like majesty it takes something like uh, two and a half months uh, from the day of, of transplanting to, uh, to maturity. So what you need is uh, the basal fertilizer. You need compound C, which is something like uh, 16 bags per hectare. 16 bags of, 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 of basal fertilizer, that's compound C, okay. or high C, okay. yes, which has got component of uh, 623, 23, or 828, then you need a uh, seed, the seed uh, is something like 34,000 plants per mm -hmm. hectare. Then you need the insecticide for, 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 for drenching, That's something like uh, you can apply lambda or imidacloprid or chlorophyphos or something that you've got imidacloprid as an okay. active ingredient. Yeah. Okay. So, so to stop you there, you know what, um, you're speaking in tongues. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lambda, chloropyrifos, all those kind of things. Yeah. You know, um, of course, those are the technical names or the, uh, the, the, the the terminology that is used. So, if you can also take time to know, you say when you say chloropyrifos, you say the purpose uh, okay. of, of 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 what it is about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these chemicals, uh, we trench them uh, in control of cutworms mm -hmm. and other soil-borne pests. Okay. Yes that can disturb the plant population. You can see that, you can say uh, I planted 34,000 plants, but there's a lot of cutworms. Mm -hmm. They will cut some of the, of the, of the plants and reducing the plant population. And the reduction of the plant population, that's the reduction of our food okay. Okay. as well. Oh, okay, I see. So now looking, you, you always measure uh, your, your, your land with, uh, with a hectare. Yes. So how many plants, you say 34,000 plants 34, per hectare? So, um, okay, at which capacity can, can someone harvest? If we're looking at 34,000 uh, plants, yes. I was saying we're going to plant 40,000 uh, plants and get maybe uh, 34,000 or probably from 34,000, we might get some 40 cabbages and things like that. Uh, actually, we, you just put some extras. Okay, on so 34,000. So you're telling me that from 34, from a hectare I can get 34,000 plants. That means if I, my calculation does me well, if I'm going to sell a cabbage at a dollar each, I'll be like with 34,000 34, every 2.5 months. Yes. Okay. Now let us look about the land preparation. What kind of uh, preparation needs to be done 
in order to um, plant and harvest cabbages successfully. Okay. Uh, on leg preparation, we have to disc the land. And disc the land. Yeah. I love those words. Yeah. Disc the land. What does disc the land mean? <laughs> uh, it's not depends now. Uh, if it is a virgin land, mm -hmm. you have to start by reaping. Then you disc. Then you. you, you what is reaping? What is to reap? What is to disc? What is to. Yeah, to mark. Yes, I know. Maybe you're putting markings. Yes. Yeah, but, but deep, it does, uh, this thing is more like uh, uh, turning the soil upside down. Upside down. The soil down, uh, the, the grass yes, downwards, yes, and then the yes, soil yes, upwards. Yes, so yes, that's yes. disking, okay. That's disking. And reaping? And reaping. Reaping, actually, we, are, we, we actually do it when on feeding lands. Okay. Yes. We start by reaping, that's where we'll be uh, cutting the soil deep. Could you go timber? Yes. Okay. So what, 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 what is used on, 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 on reaping? Is it? It is cage, okay? Yes. Do you uh, use my plows or? Uh, you can you actually use the reaper. Oh, this what is on this reaper? Okay, mm -hmm. now you can go ahead with the uh, land preparation. Then tap it up reaper, then to bata diska, bata diska tap in as of chica dramachi, my faros. Now it's not depend on Okuti. Uh, particularly my pacade, is it a water, uh, a swamp area? Mm -hmm. Or it's a, is it a waterlogged? Or is it just a very good place? We will drain the soils. So, can I cut it from a panic pan in prayer? I wonder, yes, in get a good talk with a raised ridge because cabbage river is without it. Garage, then can I patching a party? Uh, from a flatlands and well drained. That's where you can even uh, just mark some so some flooding stations. Then, Takuchi Sachi, uh, is it the compound C? Maybe Mamo, then compound C, you can get a case or something like the cup number 16, the planting station. Then tapes are used also. Tapudi, tapudi, sprayer. Um, shonga yedu yana lab the nana clothing for the nine chimota or writing application rate of uh, uh, two hundred and fifty to three hundred mils per hectare. Depending, we have put in jimbo yo yo yaka infest wa yema cut when it is required to say. Okay. And depending the carry with the previous crop ranga raka mira say. Then right. after that, tapudi tanga wudi kutu ku 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 yati chigara. Then petino chigara we have to make sure that your seed is well hardened. It's pre climatized to the uh, to the climate which are introducing it. to the to the yeah, yeah. or tapeza is also tapeza kuchigara tapudi nzira. So what well, well, what is the process of making the seed ready for the climate environment? Is it that you buy it uh, ready for that or yes? Or, if you buy uh, if you are buying the seedlings, yeah. You have to tell them like uh, a day or two days before that I'm going to come and buy the seed so that they, they can harden it by uh, water stressing it. Okay. Can I put one of for about two, three days? So even in the aqua dump, to go out to Pana Pana for a temple on a plant, which did it again. So is, is, is wind part agro came? Do you, do you harden seed for, for your clients or is it something that is done yes, somewhere some else? Some of the guys they come and cook for a seed, then we'll do that for And how long does it take? Uh, it doesn't take time. Okay. It's something like uh, three, four days the seed oh. will be ready. Oh, three, four days the seed will be ready. Yeah. So now um, let's talk about you mentioned about compound C. Yes. What about an alternative like manure and, and things like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how does it and come in play? A lot of people here in Zimbabwe uh, uh, are something chiri pure organic. Mm -hmm. And something chiri pure organic, chiri uh, chiri a little bit palatable and it tastes nice. Okay. So you find out that if you want to supplement the basal fertilizers with manure, mm -hmm. it's, it's either it's uh, keto manure or uh, chicken manure. Or oh, chicken manure. Yes. Actually, and how do, they, how, how do they put it in the field? Okay, they open the furrows. Okay. Or they just put uh, on the planting stations. On the planting stations. Yes. Okay. Now let's talk about the seasons for uh, for cabbages. Which one is the best time to plant uh, 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 cabbages and grow cabbages? Yeah. Okay. Uh, economically, it's negative. If you produce something off season, you've been you've been money. Yes. You've been yes, profit. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. A lot of people want to farira kurima nana October, November, December, mm -hmm. but Jesus could never not have married. So even uh, if you plant it or if you do uh, cabbage production off season, mm -hmm. you will be realizing a lot of profits. So now, um, what sort of um, conditions does someone needs to meet in order to plant uh, cabbages and harvest cabbages off season? Actually, mm -hmm. we are living in a in a modernized world. Yeah. 
we are using people are using different chemicals uh, to 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 do every production the animal yeah. that meter. And what's up shan salis without producer like now in winter you can use an frost blanket uh, which helps to repel the frost from the crops. Mm -hmm. And uh, some cultural measures okay. just to, to, to protect your cabbage from chi, from the from, from frost. Then you produce your cabbage off season. You can produce. Okay, so so um, it seems as if there is a lot of um, factors that comes into that. What about the issue of watering uh, the garden, if if or the farm or whatever you're doing, yeah. if you're doing that off season? Yeah, you need to supplement the rains with the, the water. Mm -hmm. uh, it's either by irrigation. Yep. Some of people, of the people, they are now opting for uh, drip irrigation. Drip irrigation, yes. yes. Some they just opt for, for sprinkler. And uh, the advantages of drip irrigation is that uh, you know, the umbrella. You don't need a lot of water like in sprinkler irrigation. Or okay. Or flood irrigation. Okay. Yeah. So why did you? Are, are you saying for someone to be profitable uh, doing cabbages, they need to do it on a hectare? And why do you always give examples of it? Can someone do less than a hectare and still be profitable? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, and then now tell me about some of your use cases, some of your customers. I know you do sell from the counter there, yeah. uh, uh, different customers that are um, doing different things. So, particularly to those that are doing cabbages, uh, would you classify them as uh, large scale farmers or small scale farmers who are just planting seed to sell in their communities or they're supplying Kumbari and uh, different places? How would you classify them? Uh, actually, on cabbage production, uh, a lot of my customers they do it in large scale. In large scale, okay. Yes, you find out uh, people here in Harare they can grow cabbages and supply as far as Bright Bridge, okay. As far as uh, Blawayo, as far as uh, Victoria Falls, Kusinganya Yekuna Yamvura. Oh, so, so the supply is coming from Harare. Yes. Okay, now um, when you say, uh, I don't want to scare me, okay. Mm. And um, for those that are just getting started, probably, you know, when someone is getting started, they want to start off with a small piece of land and, you know, they grow big and grow big. If it starts to make sense, you know, they go ahead and uh, uh, um, invest into farming, especially uh, doing cabbages. Now, how do you classify a big, scum, a, a big um, farmer and a small scale farmer? So, someone with a hectare, can you say a small scale farmer or the large scale farmer? Well, how do you classify? What's the difference okay. there? Uh, actually, starting from a hectare, you are now, you are now a large-scale farmer. Large-scale farmer. Well, like, like, like scale farmer. Now, let us do the calculations. You know, um, right now my head is ringing the 34,000. I yeah, mean, yeah, 34,000 yeah. every, 34,000 every two and a half months. That's quite uh, a huge chunk of money. Yeah. Now, I want us to do a bit of calculations in terms of what is needed, um, and then we can come up with the estimates uh, besides the fixed capital. No, I'm not, when I'm talking about fixed capital, we are talking about um, probably the drip irrigation, if you're using drip irrigation and the, did you say a farm blanket? Uh, it's a frost blanket. Frost, frost blanket. What, what is frost blanket? It's just a chemical, which is, you just spray it. Oh, I thought you said blanket actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, you say blanket, like it okay. covers the frost. Oh, okay, so it's, okay. So it's used normally in, 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 in winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, now let us go to the calculations and, and you know i wanted to break down what sort of things are needed in terms of um uh, inputs so that we can uh, plant and uh, grow cabbages in zimbabwe uh, because everyone in zimbabwe actually eats cabbages i mean if yeah, you haven't yeah, ate yeah. cabbages then what did you eat last night it's uh papa and cabbages, cabbages. Ah, <laughs> of course definitely so um um, let, let, let's come up with the costing uh, that one needs. Let's say they've got one hectare of land. It could be someone in the rural homes, someone who doesn't have a farm, but yeah, can, can we come up with calculations? See, you have a calculator there and, um, and some seeds as well. Yes. Yeah, what are these? Okay, uh, this is one of the best uh, variety in the okay. in cabbages, that's Fabiola. Oh, Fabiola, so this is Fabiola. Yeah, 2.5 thousand seeds. So this is 2,500 seeds? Yes. Okay. okay. So one, one, like one grain is one seed? Yes. Okay. Now, still on that, um, can you comment on people that buy these while it's the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Seedlings. I don't know. Is yeah. that what you call seedlings? Yeah, seedlings. Okay. Yeah. As compared to the seed? Yeah. Okay. 
why should one get these and not the seedlings? Actually, when you buy the seed mm -hmm. from the shop, you'll be sure that I bought Papiona. Okay, the than, product. Yes, than buying the seedling. Because someone can just say it's Papiona. Well, it is a drumhead. Oh, I yes. see. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's, let's look at the type of soil as well before you come up with the pricing. Yeah. The type of soil, the, so there are red soils, there is um, soils that are sandy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cabbages can grow in which kind of conditions in terms of soil type? Okay, actually it will grow in a wide variety mm -hmm. of uh, soils. Yeah. But basically we, we, we advise people to, uh, to grow it in well-drained soils. Well-drained soil? Yes, which is uh, well fertile. Well fit, huh? Yes. That's all. Then some of the things you just supplement. And okay. You have to test your, your soils before you just bump into into the production. So you check the soil. Okay. For, for sampling. Then okay. You know Who does sampling of the soil? We actually have our, our clients or our our partners who can just get that. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's fine. So now let's just come up with the costing of um of that. So what's the first thing that we can start off with if you have one hectare of land? Yeah. Okay. So what you have to start, you have to start with the seed. Yeah, the seed. Are we going to use for viola? Which other one that you have here? Yeah, I see. Uh, to, that uh, one is hot spot. Hot spot, uh, okay. Majesty in size. Okay. So, yeah. so, so the seed, we're saying 35,000 plants. 35,000. 34,000. 34,000 plants, yeah. 34,000 plants. Uh, so that one is uh, something like uh, 2.5 thousand seeds. So you need something like... 18. 18 of these 18 and how much is this 18 dollars what this packet is 18 dollars yes okay yeah go ahead then there are fertilizers fertilizer yeah compound compound see, see? there's something like uh 16 bags by 14 bags by 45 45 then um uh, what does it just put the photos for the customers okay that's fine Okay. Then lambda. Lambda is one for ten dollars. Then uh nitrate. So that lies something like two hundred and fifty plus five by four five. This one is one for five dollars. So uh eighteen plus twenty plus eighteen plus twenty plus seventy seventy six. Then on front side bravo. Then uh this one is going for uh twelve dollars quarter. This one is going for uh, 18. Then uh, the mango set. Set is going. This one is going for uh, 14. Then metalax. It's going for uh, 14 as well. So I'm saying 4 plus. Plus fourteen plus fourteen plus fifteen plus eight. Then on chemical, so we this one. Then seventy six. Seventy six plus fifty eight plus one. 
Cepat. Then plus seven twenty. So can you also mention the names of what you are okay. so calculating? Yeah, it's okay, you can go ahead. Yes. So uh, these are variable costs, yeah. for chemicals, and mm -hmm. for, for the seed and the fertilizers. Mm -hmm. So the total here is uh, one, eight, uh, one, one, and nine plus seven, twenty-four. Okay, so something like uh, one, eight, three for the variable cost okay yes for the fixed fixed cost let's say you are renting the farm you want to rent the farm we may charge you something like a uh, hundred dollars for the for for for, for a hectare so, for a hectare yeah. yes. so there's a fixed cost fixed cost yeah so it's hundred dollars mm -hmm. electricity for irrigation and the stuff about seventy five dollars mm -hmm. then we say uh Labor. A labor. A labor. Labor, then. labor, something like, uh, let's say, put it on $300. $300. Yeah. Transport? Transport in and out. So it's something like uh, $200. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, so let's add this to the So one plus uh, $100 plus. Seventy-five plus five hundred plus two one thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight. That's the production cost. Then let's say we are selling it. Let's say for, mm -hmm. for seventy-five cents each. So is this is, is the, the amount that you got there? Is this the total amount that you need? Yes. In terms of that is about yes, two thousand. The production cost. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the production value. Is, so. We need, uh, let's say you are now selling your cabbage, so for the people, thousand, thousand, yes. Yeah. And somebody says, I want to come and buy in the farm, and you say, All right, I'll give you a discount. Now you come mm -hmm. and buy for, uh, let's say 75 cents, mm -hmm. so, so comma, so five cents times 34, thousand. Something like uh, twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand from 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 a capital injection of about two thousand. About two thousand, yes. So, you know, uh, the profit now. The seat is uh, wow. So something like twenty-three. 1502. Now we want to see the return per dollar invested. Yeah. So we say uh, the capital, the, 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 the amount invested, divided by the profit, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's uh, 2,200. Divided by 1998. There we go. The profit is too much. Right? <laughs> so the profit invested, is too much. Yes, the dollar invested, you are getting something like eleven dollars seventy. So instead of keeping a dollar in the house, you could use it in farming and get seven dollars, eleven dollars seventy. Wow, what a calculation! Yeah, yeah. So we're saying that um, probably I would add a little bit of money uh, at, 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 on top of two thousand, maybe unforeseen. Uh, costs yeah, and put maybe two thousand five hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the profit is around twenty thousand for every two thousand five hundred dollars invested. Yes. So now you know the profit is unreal. Actually, uh, it sounds too good to be true. You know, when you get these kind of um, uh, projections, you kind of ask yourself, why is it not everyone is doing it? Yeah. And then what is it? Um, other people are failing at. What are some of the common mistakes that people make when they're trying to uh, grow cabbages in Zimbabwe? Okay, one of the uh, major features, uh, a lot of people, they don't know uh, how to invest in agriculture. Okay. Yes. 
and uh, they don't know even the knowledge about uh, farming. Okay. So if they come and get the knowledge or if they, they, they just uh, conduct some economies, mm -hmm. proper calculations, they actually really realize a lot of profits. There's a lot of profit. Yes. Now, but, but, but now, looking at, uh, um, uh, you know, um, I know that we are actually importing some of the um, crops in Zimbabwe. And um, what, 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 what's your take, uh, a comment on that in terms of um, our potential in terms of farming and um, yeah, these amount of profits that can be made, especially to the youths. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I actually had a conversation with, with um, someone yesterday. I actually visited their farm. And then this person has got actually has got a profession. So they've got like, a, I'm not going to mention the profession, but at the same time, they're running their profession in town and they are uh, running the farming project, right? Yeah. So they say that a youthful person actually came to their office looking for a job in, in a rural town. And then uh, they said, you know what, we don't have a job here, okay? But we do have um, uh, a job for you at the farm. And they said, you know what, I cannot do farming. So I really don't understand. I'm just balance me on that one. Why is it, um, um, in as much as this is profitable, a lot of people are making losses? Okay. Uh, actually, farming enjoy it. It's a lot of money. Is that so? Yeah. Oku chiva na waski siva kuti choji tase. Okay. Find out to to find one of the food out to kurima. To find out kurima, but you can get out one of the cabbage. Rau kuchenge swa dollar for two kana oti dollar. They don't know the profits that are being made there. They don't know the profits that they are being made there. Wow. Yes. Anyway, is there anything that I did not ask you that you feel like you want to share with our audience? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I just want to tell them that uh, people don't keep money in the house or in the in the in the bank. Mm -hmm. Try to invest in this one. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, you have to invest in agriculture. Every project, every uh, project in Watanga, even production in Watanga, in agriculture, actually you realize a lot of profit. Okay. It might be uh, in tobacco, it might be in tomato, it might be onion. Every production. It's a okay. very good turn up. Okay. Yeah. So how can people get in touch with you? You know, there could be a question that I did not ask. And someone is like burning, as if there's a burning question right now to say, uh, I wish I could ask that question. Um, how can people, I know they can come to your shop, yes. But if you can share your phone number, it's still fine. And then you can, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's also Trevor Winpart Agrochemicals. Uh, Chinua Nukwama Harari CBD. Kona uh, 2nd in South Avenue. And Kona 5th uh, in Robson Manyika. And our contact number, you can get one copper 0771 mm -hmm. uh, three, uh, uh, 633 then 208. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, Justice. Your name is Justice, yeah? Yes, thank yes. you so much. So, uh, that was uh, Justice, and he was sharing with us uh, the importance of um, agriculture. So, I've gone to different places around Zimbabwe, and I've realized that a lot of people they are uh, doing farming from uh, from from uh, their rural homes actually, and uh, some of people own farms. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've got the answers, and yeah, I gotta find cabbage right now and start eating. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.